In this video, we'll discuss how to change the design policy from monotonic to free in a fuselage component. Now, you might remember from the discussion on the loop policy, the first cross section is enforced to be at the 100% design length position and coincident with the end cross section. With a cross section order that's free, those restrictions no longer apply. And in fact, the only real restriction that you have is that your design length from the origin to the tip is still limited to your design space. So for example, we are restricted to a box that is 30 units long and 30 units in either direction. So if we come to cross section now, cross section zero can be at any position from zero to one that we want. So it can wrap back inside itself. You can overlap these. There's no real restriction other than this bounding space. So if we come out to the end, you can also bring this back from the X. Now, note that with this cross section, you can change where it is, but the design length is still somewhere back here at 30 length units. Similarly, if we come back to cross section zero, you can shrink this. So the physical length of this component is not 30 feet, obviously. It's whatever it happens to be. If we say, look at it from the left hand side, we have this point here where the skinning has pushed this curve out and then wrapped it back around. And we also have the end of it here. So if you're not really concerned with the actual length, you can kind of set these however you like, but it's better practice to fix your skinning angles so that you maintain the tangency that you actually want at these cross sections. So see the skinning videos for a demonstration of how to control that. Now, an example of how you could use this, if we go ahead and open our free design example here, I've made some circular cross sections at zero and at the end. And then I've set up some additional sections here that are the opening at the mouth, at the tail, and then a center section that's kind of defined this wide shape. Now, what's useful here is I have gone to the design tab and changed the nose cap and tip cap to flat. So instead of having a point and then having to duplicate the same location and make a circle, I simply said my first cross section was a circle and I closed it. So if we shade this, you can see that we have a little cowl here on the front or outside of say an nacelle or a pod and then a similar section on the back. And the reason that this is useful is there are several codes out there that analyze engine components and use, say, this flat surface as a boundary for inflow and then outflow in the back. So this is an easy way to quickly tag this location as an inflow section, and then the back is an outflow section. So you can use free design policy to set these things up. Now, you can model this with, say, a... Uh, a fuselage or you can do it with a stack but using a free design policy makes it very easy now the trick here to remember is that I have my cross section here at the mouth set at zero and out here at the end this is at 100% so I know the physical length of this component just because I've set it up this way